Hey guys, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. It's been a while since I've done a mount vid, but I have for you a new one, so here we go. It is this guy. I pronounce any... Oh, I apologize for any bad, bad pronouncements I'm about to make, as I just have. The Eurekan Betrayal. Of all the species of Betrayals known to man, the Eurekan Betrayal is the only one which is not actually a Betrayal, but in fact an oversized carnivorous sea slug. Admittedly, unlike most sea slugs, this unique variety possesses the capability for extended flight, hence the understandable misnomer. <laughs> okay. Now, which this guy, when I first saw it, I thought this is really, really cute. It's got this really lovable, adorable face. And yes, I can see the, sle the sea slug type appearance. But to me, it looks a little bit more like um, a manta ray because of the, the how they the, um, the wings stretch out and they're very feathery tipped. I think Petrel's a bird in real life, isn't it? I think. Call me crazy, I think it might be. So, but it's the colours. I love this. It has got that moisture look like it's glistening, like it's, it's just come out of the water. It's got its lovely mixtures of blues, whites and blacks all sort of tipped together. So that big cheeky face. And then going down to the tail, so you've got like a side skirt, lovely flowing there into a tail area. Now what I love about this is mainly the colour of it. It's very, very unique. Let me lift it up to see underneath. And it looks like a very muscular creature as well. So it's, it looks very powerful, yet at the same time it looks very elegant. As you can tell by the, or hear by the music rather, this is actually bog standard music. But it's lovely to say how the wings, they catch the breeze when it's um, in glide mode. But it's just a very, very pretty mount. Now how you get this mount, now how, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, you, so you get this mount from Eureka. Big surprise, I suppose, there. But, uh, I'm going to get this wrong. This is from Pyros, which is the last and third area. So you go there, and again, excuse, I'm so sorry if I've got this wrong. I think I've got this right, though. Um, I believe there's a fate you do there, and you get, like, a happy bunny, which gives you a bonus, or the access to open gold boxes, I do believe. And then... <laughs> Then you do some other fates and you get it. And then if you're lucky, you get it out of the box. Now I'm aware someone's going to say, no, you're wrong, it's not. It could be a random loot drop, a lot like the Tyrannosaurus style mount was. If I am wrong, then I'm so, so sorry. I honestly thought that's how it was got. And the only reason why I'm assuming this is how it's gotten is because the amount of people who they never used to bother about the little rabbit fate because it was just not worthwhile for points but then recently everyone started doing it and then not only that a load of people are selling this now on the market board now that's precisely how I got this okay so you don't have to worry if you're not that far into the game uh, this one cost me six million gil to pay for this this is actually cheapest when it first came out i think you're looking more about 20 million so it has dropped quite a bit in price as do most things in fact i do believe the mount that came out before then the ones like um a fiery yeti type looking one i'm gonna try pronouncing that that one actually costs two million more on the more on the market board for me um, at the moment so it just goes to show it just it depends on you know the craze what is like, in most in need at the moment now, one person he's selling six of these so and it was the cheapest so the fact that there's one guy selling six it can't be that hard to to get as long as you're willing to spend enough time trying to farm for it and of course there you go guys it's a great way of then getting money in game is you can farm it and then sell it on yourself so there are a couple of mounts that you can buy this way and i quite like the fact that it gives you opportunity to buy it because for some people, they just haven't got the time. I'm currently grinding for um, the last my two, um, well, the last two tank mounts. So by the time I've done that, in total all this stream roulettes, you don't really fancy doing much else. You know, I want to play my other games. I want to hang out with my fiance. I want to play with my dog Nugget. <laughs> you know, I want to enjoy life. I don't want to be spending the whole time of, okay, I've done this. I've got to do this now. So I'm so glad that Final Fantasy do allow you to purchase 
other mounts in game um i can only imagine they'll increase that more as time goes by but so i'm really grateful personally so there you go guys another mount off the list i believe that's 103 for me now and yes i know i'm aware i never actually did that 100 mounts and counting vid it was probably because i was so set on doing the vids saying i had 100 mounts but then i went past that literally because i hit 101 with the wolf and then because that unlocked the legendary so it got me 102 and i kind of thought oh what's the point now i'll just stick to doing my mount vids for you guys and i know they take a lot longer to get out because i don't i'm not the first person to get them and i'm sorry for that but again i have a life and Final fantasy i love it but it is just a hobby it's just a game to play and i enjoy it so i'm sorry that i can't be the the fastest to get it out but i'm still proud that i believe i am one of the people out there with the most collection of mounts i'll never get all of them that will be near near enough impossible like 99 percent impossible but i will keep showing as many as i can for you guys because it's fun to collect them and i just really enjoy it so thanks for watching this vid guys i hope you guys have a good weekend it's now about to start for me personally and I'll see you in another vid coming soon. So I have a few more mounts I'm currently in the process of getting. So hopefully not too long till the next vid. Right. Have a good day, guys.